We're working with some duct board today. These are four foot by 10 foot sheets, one and a half inch thick. We're gonna need a few tools. This is a V cutter for one and a half inch. This is the end cutter for one and a half inch, otherwise known as red and blue. We need some tape to get it all together, some staples and whatnot, but something that I learned along the way, there's a special straight edge that they use for this. It's actually called the duct duct edge or something like that. It has a picture of a duck on it and it does a measurement trick. Well, really all you have to know is that these tools add two and a half inches to where your last measurement was. So it's really going to screw you up if you go to measure a 16 inch duct, cut it, and then it turns out to be an 18 and a half inch panel. So really if you're measuring 16, you have to drop back to 13 and a half. To make your proper cut. Other than that, it's pretty simple. I will try to get some video of some. Okay, so I've made three cuts with the red cutter one, two, and three. And now I'm going to start with the blue cutter. The blue cutter has a lot more blades, so it goes through a lot harder. It's really going to take a lot of pressure to push this through. So I've got my sheet pushed up against the other side of the bed of the truck. I'm going to do one last cut here for 11 inches. I measured eight and a half inches over. So I have to take away that two and a half inches on the end here. And it should come out nice. It takes a lot more pressure, probably at double if not triple what the red cutter takes. And those come out. Finish, take the knife, the very edge of the last cut made by that last blade right there, and just cut it right off. Fold it up into a square duct. <laughs> 